Hello, I am Pearl Lakanya Ofori. Coming up, Ga traditional council appeals to the president, John Dramani Mahama, to pardon jailed Muntia Trio. We have the details of the story and more here on City News Daily on City TV. In our very first story, there was heavy police presence at the headquarters of the Convention People's Party earlier today, following a scuffle between some fiscally built men and supporters of the General Secretary and Youth Organizer. City News Daily understands that Ni Ama Akomfra and Ernesto Yebwa were prevented from entering the party's premises by some fiscally built men believed to have been contracted by the chairman of the party, Dr. Edmond Dilly. Ni Ama Akomfra and Ernesto Yebwa were cleared by the party's disciplinary committee after they were suspended for contradicting the flag bearer of the party, Dr. Edmond Dilly on the present receipt of a Ford vehicle. Meanwhile, aid to the chairman and leader of the party has dismissed assertions that Dr. Edmund Daly was responsible for bringing the tax that prevented the general secretary and the youth organizer from entering the party's premises. The Ashanti Regional Branch of the New Patriotic Party is threatening legal action against the Electoral Commission if it does not give deleted NHIS voters another opportunity to re-register. This follows the EC's insistence that it will not extend the time for NHIS registrants. The Ashanti Regional Secretary of the party, that Sam Pine, had earlier told City News Daily that the party would petition the EC by close of today. But now, he says, the party will be forced to seek legal redress if the EC does not rethink its decision. So the Munti FM trio, who were recently sentenced to four months in prison for threatening to kill the justices of Ghana's superior courts, have been in the news for quite some time. Now the Ghana Traditional Council is appealing to the President John Dramani Mahama to exercise his powers under Article 72 of the 1992 Constitution and release the Munti FM trio. Now, the council says, although it condemns the threats against the justices by the three men, it believes subsequent apologies from them should cause the president to pardon them. The three, Sally Fumasi, Alistair Nelson and Godwin Ako Gan, were sentenced to four months in prison. And I'll speak to the media that Bessie Manchin, member of the traditional council, Ni Aibunti, said the three should be shown mercy by the president. Now, Parliament is expected to consider the approval of the nomination of three deputy ministerial appointments, including that of Deputy Local Government Minister-designate John Oti Blairs. The approval was deferred last Friday after fresh evidence emerged on the floor of the House that Oti Blairs was involved in the making of alleged disparaging remarks about Supreme Court justices on Munti FM, which landed the three in jail. But speaking on the floor of Parliament today, Deputy Majority Leader Alfred Agbeshi said the leadership of Parliament would not be compelled to use what he calls extraneous material in the approval of Oti Blaise. And that's all from me, Pierre Lacanio Furi on City News Daily on City TV for today. Thanks for watching. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1-0243-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.